Salam and welcome everybody as we used to do uh, pause the video and read the question carefully. As we can see the question is asking me to make a balancing for this redox equation and we can notice that the presence of OH negative in here and actually this is an indication of making this equation in basic medium. The first step in this type of equations is splitting up the, the equations into half oxidation half reduction and this process is done by looking at the reactants we can see that you have only two reactants which are cl2 and oh anything that is related to h plus or water or h plus like ignore them so far so we can look at the cl2 we do not care about this here so far um the cl2 here is um reacted to become like cl negative in addition to react again and just like form the CCLO3. So you have to split this um, into two equations. The first one here, let's start with the Cl2, Cl negative. And as we can see, we have half equations, but we have to balance the atoms and the charges. You can see that the number of atoms of the chlorine atoms are not equal. So we have to multiply this by two in order to have the same number of, um, of atoms. And after balancing the atoms, we have to start balancing the charges. And we can see that the overall charge here is negative 2, and here it's 0, and that's why we add electrons to the more positive term, and which is the left-hand side, which is 2 electrons. And now let's balance the second equations. We started with Cl2, as you can see. Um, Cl2 is a changing into uh, ClO3, negative. And we can see that the number of the chlorine atoms are not equal here. We have two and here we have only one and that's why we multiply this by two at this point we have two chlorine atoms but you can see that we have uh, three oxygens multiplied by two we have six oxygen so how can i add oxygens to the other part here we add it in terms of water so we have six oxygens then we have to add six water molecules and since we're adding six water molecules we have uh, hydrogen atoms that's why you have to add another hydrogen atoms on the other side, which are uh, 12 um, hydrogen plus. And at this point, we can say, okay, uh, we balance the number of atoms, and now let's balance the charges. Since we have a positive 12, and here we have negative 2, then the overall charge in here is 10. I mean, positive 10. And by the way, here we have it's 0. So we add electrons to the more positive term, and we have to add 10 electrons at this point. But the idea at this point is we didn't finish. We have to combine those two equations together. And we just noticed that we have two electrons in here and here we have 10. So we have to make those electrons equal to each other. And we can do this by multiplying this equation here by 5 in order to change them to 10 electrons. And after multiplying this by 5, it becomes uh, 10 electrons. I mean, this one here is multiplied by 5. 10 electrons. I'm going to put it here up a little bit. 10 electrons plus 5 Cl2 gives 10 Cl negative. And we have tried this one here below because it's ready made here. Uh, we add 6 H2Os um, plus Cl2. It gives 2 ClO3 negative plus 12 H plus plus 10 electrons but wait we have another thing to discuss it with you as we can see you have h plus at this point and the h plus means that your equation is an acidic medium and as we can see the question is asking me to do these equations in basic medium so what to do in this way it's really easy since you need to do it in basic solution you have to add ohs to the both sides of your equation and at this point, the number of OHs must be equal to the number of H pluses in here. In other words, we have to add plus 12 OH in here and another 12 OH negative in here. We didn't finish. The side of equation, when the OH is combined to H plus, they will change to water. But how many water molecules? They will be changed to... 12 h2o so just like let's write that up here we can say that the number of electrons here are cancelled and now let's rewrite those things again since we have a 12 water molecule this side and we have six here they all subtracted from each other and that's why we will have six h2o in here and those are cancelled we have five plus one cl2 and that's why it's six cl2 
plus 12 OH negative. All right, we have an error. We have 10 Cl negative plus um, 2 ClO3 negative plus 6 H2O. Oh. Are we finished? Not yet. If we look at the answers, you can see that they are in a very simplified forms. And we can see that if we divide this equation over 2, we will have something else. And if we divide it over 2, you will have um, 3 Cl2 plus 6 OH negative. It uh, will give 5 Cl negative plus ClO negative 3 plus 3 h 2 And this question is asking me about x. Y and V. So V here represents, just like uh, glue them out here, the V represents the coefficient of Cl2 and actually it's a 3 and that's why which of those are 3? You could have B or C and, and the coefficient of X which represents the Cl negative and actually it's 5. So basically the answer is uh, C because is represented by 5 and the V is represented by 3. And Y is represented by here, which is uh, the ClO3, which is 1. And this is a true. The answer here is C.